This is the Valve Index, one of the best VR headsets ever created. With some of the most impressive specs on the market, wait a minute, this thing is coming up on four years old? Is it even worth it to buy one at this point? Let's find out. As hard as it is to believe, the Valve Index released in June of 2019. At $1,000 for the full kit, it isn't the cheapest headset either. Of course, you can always buy the headset alone for $500, but that would likely leave you without the controllers and a tracking solution. Quite a fancy paperweight. So, assuming you buy the full kit, what do you get in it? Included is the headset itself, two knuckle controllers, and two Lighthouse 2.0 base stations. Let's start off with the base stations. There isn't really anything bad to say about them considering they're the only reason the headset and controllers work. They're used to track the position of the headset and controllers in your room. They're also able to track five trackers if you eventually buy some of those for full body tracking. Some people buy additional base stations since it apparently improves tracking quality, but I haven't had any issues with just two. Next are the controllers. These controllers are the best PC VR controllers money can buy. Although that doesn't seem too impressive when your competition consists of Vive Wands and Pimax Swords. So what makes them good then? Well, for starters, they're very comfortable to hold. Er, well, wear I guess, since you don't really have to hold them. They just strap onto your hand and stay there. All of the buttons, triggers, and joysticks feel great too. The real star of the show are the grips. They're capacitive and can individually track which fingers you have down. In fact, every control on this controller is capacitive. All of this together gives you full control of your finger position in games. In games like VRChat, this allows you to use gesture-based emotions on your avatar. And last, but certainly not least, is the headset itself. Much like the other components, it isn't a pushover. The dual 1440 by 1600 displays leave a bit to desire, but its 130 degree field of view and 144 hertz refresh rate definitely make up for it. The headset itself is comfortable to wear, despite being a bit heavier than most of the others on the market. The audio solutions are awesome too. The over-ear speakers have great sound quality, and if for some reason you want to not use them, they're super easy to switch out. They just unscrew from the headset, and then there is a headphone jack under the facial interface. The Index might just have the best mics out of any VR headset. The dual mic array makes everything really clear and is a lot better than every other headset I've heard. So, should you buy this headset in 2023? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to get into PC VR, this is the best option, especially for the price. If you don't have a computer that can run games, you should probably go with the Quest 2 or Pico 4. And if you already have the equipment for lighthouse-based tracking, you may or may not want to go with a different headset. The Index is definitely the best option if you're looking for a jack-of-all-trades, though. Well, what if you want to upgrade to something else from an Index? Good luck. Going to a Vive or Pimax headset would probably be your best option. A lot of the Vive headsets can be used wirelessly, and Pimax headsets have a massive field of view. The only problem is going to a Vive, you would be giving up some of your field of view and refresh rate, and then Pimax headsets are known to have a bit of jankiness. Your best option may just be to wait it out and pray something worth upgrading to comes out soon. It's impressive how well this headset holds up to this day, and also kind of sad in a way. It's been almost four years, and there really isn't anything for a decent price that would be a good or best upgrade path. At least we got our money's worth out of it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more VR content like it, make sure to like and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below your thoughts on this headset.